on to the interior real quick. My car f died. <laughs> Need to cool her down. This is f crazy, guys. My car needs to freaking cool down, boys. This is not good. Well, that's an adventure. There we go. <laughs> well, at least my boys saw me, so hopefully they come back. Alright. Alright, so we were just doing a little mob filming a little GoPro footage right here, but I don't know what the f is going on. Either she overheats or what the hell happens, but check engine light comes on, she starts like choking up and like backfiring and then I guess shit happens. So I'm gonna just let her cool down and she usually starts back up. Damn. I was gonna do a little car review in the middle of the canyon. I guess we're stopping now. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for her to cool down. And then um, we're gonna go back all the way to the top of Sycamore. And then I'm gonna do a sick review and talk about this but thing. Yeah. It's pretty out here right now. Look at that, gorgeous. So she started back up. So we have a check engine light like always. So that's gonna go away eventually. Okay.
What's up guys and welcome back to Anton X. My name is Anton today. We're at my favorite spot ever pretty much in the beautiful mountains right here out in California and I'm reviewing today my 2002 NB2 little Mazda Miata race car, track car, tailgate car, whatever you want to call it. So, okay, um, so here's my 2002 NB2 Mazda Miata. I got this thing I'd say like eight years ago. It was completely stock, 25,000 miles on it. Probably one of the cleanest ones you'll find, 25,000 miles. Uh, I put, has like almost 80 on it right now. Done a lot to this car. Uh, let's just start on the exterior, so. I did carbon fiber fenders. I got NK wheels on her right here. And then see what else. Federal RSRR tires are wrapping all around. I've been running those for many years. Nice and sticky. Pretty predictable, um, cheap also. Let's see what else. I have Godspeed, Godspeed Racing Mono RS coilovers. Go into the uh, interior real quick. This is probably the best bucket seat I've ever sat in. Um, I used to have like bright reps in here. And then I got, I sat in one of my friends Spec Miata's seat. Uh, he had the same HTER 400 in his and probably one of the most comfortable seats I ever sat in. So I decided to get it and never disappoints me even though i daily this thing right now but it has five point harnesses as you see cam lock um five point let's see the NRG steering wheel deep dish we got the mishimoto shift knob pretty nice shift knob um it's a little messy in here right now but no passenger seat got the harnesses in look at that got the i'm gonna show you in a second but look at this right here he's coming by Okay guys, so the best part about this car is getting into this car. And let me show you how to do that. So it's pretty much impossible. I'm just really used to it. And every time everyone tries to get into it, they're like, how do you do this? So look at this, I daily this car right now. My other vehicle, only other vehicle right now is a sport bike. I really need a daily, but. So we're starting this YouTube channel, so maybe we could afford another daily, uh, but race cars are better. So yeah, so you get in, let's see. Yeah, so you get in like this, put your feet in, you kind of climb on, I need a quick, I don't even have a quick release, which makes it even worse. And then you kind of just strap in with the straps, get your cam lock going, and then you're kind of just in it, in it, you know, you're just in it for the send. So let me show you, let me get the key real quick. Start up for you guys. And got the little Mishimoto shift knob on there. Sorry, it's a little messy. I got my laptop, my gym bag, my camera gear in here. Fun, but yeah, I used to have two seats in here, but I took, I sold the two bride reps and then got this OMP, which is way better. But I need to get another OMP passenger seat, but without the halos, that's what I'm gonna do. There's no halos on that one, but yeah. So our check engine light is still on. I don't know why, if you guys know why this happens, like. It, does this either overheats or start choke starts choking up in the canyons if I'm sending it too hard and then um, yeah it chokes out it stalls out and dies and then when it cools down a bit it starts back up so has this right out. here is a Zarek fabrication roll cage shout out to them they I think they make it custom you order it they make it custom for you really nice powder coated black roll cage it's it's a bolt in but if there's I think there's four points down two down here and two back here uh, it's a pretty good cage. Looks really nice if you look at it from the back. Makes the car look really aggressive and sexy. But yeah, so what else do we got here? We got the OEM side skirts. I got I got a I don't know some eBay exhaust. I think it's a Monza or something exhaust, but it sounds great. I also did the if you could see I did the bumper cut on here. The bumper cut. I mean you could. I guess you could say you could feel the difference, like the parachute effect and everything, but I don't know. It, it makes it look pretty good and pretty aggressive. You can see all the suspension components. If you go under here, you can see the, it's pretty cool. You can see the coils underneath, the differential. You run out of any more daylight. Let me show you the engine in here. So there's no turbo in there right now, unfortunately, but hopefully you guys will go through this journey in YouTube with me and like my videos so i can afford a turbo but yeah basically there's a little short ram coal there intake there's 
tubing actually if you see going through down to these holes that are actually functioning intakes and then i need to upgrade the radiator because i think it overheats like on the way up today um also a torque dampener with the a bar bracket i fabricated just like under load the engine kind of shifts and the transmission kind of shifts too so it's kind of hard to get into gear sometime but yeah this thing looks kind of sad it needs a turbo but we'll get there guys if you want to see this thing turboed like and subscribe you know uh, back to the trunk i think this is a really cool feature of my car so not a lot of miatas i think have a full fully built sound system with a let's see it's a 3700 watt amp five channel um little 10 inch subwoofer with the box but have no trunk space after that but you have some good bumps and the whole car as you can see up here whole car is dynamated in and out i took all the carpeting and rugs out and everything and all the interior speakers are built on it and then there's additional you can't see them from here but there's additional speakers back here. There they are, you can kind of see them, but yep. I love my music. And then there's also a double DIN uh, touchscreen display. I'm gonna upgrade that to Apple CarPlay so it's gonna be even sicker, but yeah. It's my little baby. Let's close the trunk. Carbon ducktail on there too. But guys, check out this beautiful spot. Like, this is so beautiful. Look at that. The mountains, you can like see everything. Look at that. Oh, check out another car coming by. Look at that loader. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know, this is this is the canyon culture right here, guys. Like this is what I live for, that's what I love. You just come up here alone just to hang out, just to chill for a bit. And then like, love this is the craziest cars drive by, the same enthusiasts that are passionate about the same shit as you. You're not just sitting behind their televisions or at home or playing their video games. Like, just come out to this beautiful nature and like, send something, like a bike, a car, just boom. Like, they, they're trying to make it seem that that's it's dangerous. Like, just be safe. Like, you know, stay in your own lane. Like, don't be dumb, especially if it's during the day. Like. Look at this, guys, right here. Let me show you. Let's go down to this little spot. Let's not die. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's amazing. That is beautiful. It's, I don't know. It's my favorite spot ever. There she is. Because bro, it just fixes itself, you know? Like just send it a little bit and it just fixes itself. <laughs>